Great uh, for you to be in the UK. We know that uh, it's probably a little bit colder than you're used to, <laughs> yeah. but uh, a very warm welcome. Thank you. Matt, <laughs> Phil, and obviously, uh, do you just want to introduce yourself and which uh, island you live in, Hawaii? Yeah, so hi, I'm Bethany Hamilton. I'm from Kauai, Hawaii. We just thought we would ask you one or two quick questions just to get you warmed up a bit. So my big first question is reef or beach? Um, definitely reef. Big calves or barrels? Um, I guess barrels, but I love both. Yeah. Now here's a key one. A dawn patrol early in the morning or a party? Uh, that's not a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> early surf for sure. Yeah. Uh, big wave surfing, toe surfing or WCT? Um, I would have to go with toe surfing. Wow. <laughs> and for me it's easy, but for you, Coke or Pepsi? Neither. <laughs> neither? <laughs> neither. How about Jello or ice cream? Uh, neither. Okay. Unless it was like some vegan, like healthy ice cream, then maybe I'd go with that. Okay. And a real toughie, surfing <laughs> or Jesus? Jesus for sure. <laughs> cool. Sure. Good stuff. Now, Bethany, your story has been a massive inspiration right across the globe. You know, loads of people have been impacted by your story. What has been your inspiration behind your story? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess just trusting in God and his plan for my life is what inspires me to do everything that I do. And um, he's given me this passion and ability to surf. So surfing is part of my inspiration and just having a good family and friends that are very supportive too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And with all the media attention you've got and, and obviously since the incident, how is it? Has it been really hard to keep with your faith and keep sort of level-headed? Um, I think like just keeping my faith in God is always something that each and every one of us battle with and we have to just keep trusting in Him daily and um, definitely like having, I think if anything, busyness is what like can mm. keep me from growing in my walk with God. But otherwise, like um, I just know that in all the attention that I get that I just want to bring him glory and in a natural and honest way and just be myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how how have, how have like the media responded and like the people in the surf industry how have they responded to your kind of outward expression of your faith? Ah, I guess I think people accept me as I am and like maybe they don't totally agree but like all of us have our differences and I think that for me, I just try to honor God in everything that I do, and hopefully His light will shine. And and maybe down the road, someone maybe someone doesn't agree with me now, but maybe down the road when they're going through a rough time, they'll realize like, yeah, God loves me, and yeah. He wants that walk with me, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> whoever sure. that person might be. Or yeah, cool. I'm obviously inspired by Matt. <laughs> but as far as you're concerned, I mean, you've inspired so many people. Um, are the people that you've met that really inspired you? Yeah, I mean, I've met some really awesome people. And I guess for me, I just, like, try to, as I meet people daily, whether they're famous or not, like, I just try to, like, look for the good in them and, like, just kind of feed off that. And, like, I think God has um, definitely blessed me with some really good friends um, that I've been able to just rely on and talk to and like get strength from and I think it's the people that are closest to us that really have the biggest impact rather than those figures sort of people yeah, yeah. Um, so for me I just kind of like just my good friends yeah cool now you're obviously a very famous pro surfer you know mm -hmm. and you've got your future, uh, future career in surfing what is next for Bethany Hamilton kind of thinking a bit like long term after you're surfing, where do you see your life and your career kind of focus? Yeah, I mean, I try to keep my focus within the next few years. I yeah. just take it one day at a time. And um, definitely like having Soul Surfer come out this last year has been quite a different year for me and like very distracting. Um, so I'm looking forward to just kind of finishing this up and um, and then kind of going back to focusing on my surfing and I just want to keep traveling and surfing big waves and competing and just kind of just more enjoying it. Like I think a lot of times um, pro surfers can kind of just get stuck in a rut of like just getting on planes and forgetting to have fun where you're at. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to try to just enjoy it a bit more 
and I have enjoyed it, but like just add that emphasis on like I'm doing this because I love it and because I love surfing and and I want to succeed. <laughs> yeah, because I've noticed from your various blogs and your uh, your updates that sometimes you end up thousands of miles away from the sea for a, for a number of days because you've got to yeah. do all the emotional stuff. So that must be must be quite hard. But yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think, but when I am away from the ocean, then when I get back, I'm like enjoy it that much more, <laughs> and I'm like fresher. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. How are you pushing the boundaries if you're surfing at the, at the moment? You know, because apparently we, we heard that you're kind of towing now. Is that right? At, at yeah, um, I've towed a little bit. Uh, I definitely want to focus on that this winter in Hawaii. Um, I like the, I just love big wave surfing and I would like to excel in that and um, just push my personal limits. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and also just work on my normal, like just high performance surfing and um, just kind of cruise at home. I've been traveling so much, I just yeah. want to like hang out and relax a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there, um, I mean, being away from home could be quite tough. Is there a particular verse or verses in the Bible that sort of just you, you hang on to when the times are tough? Is there? Um, yeah, my verse is always like changing, but like this last year, one verse that has kind of been engraved in my mind is I think it's Second Timothy one seven. I always forget if it's first or second Timothy, but Second Timothy one seven, um, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yeah. And I guess just like sometimes I think fear is something that can kinda almost paralyze us from living our daily life in the way that God wants us to. Yeah, for sure. And um so just knowing that He like gives us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, like and that's the kind of life we should be living like and so that's kind of been a verse for me this last year <laughs> yeah cool now i'm sure there's probably loads of people that might be sitting here watching something like this and they might kind of relate to your story they might be facing a situation that is like really hopeless or maybe there's a particular like challenge that they just can't seem to overcome what what would you say to somebody that's in those kind of situations from kind of your own experiences yeah, I guess like we all go through like rough times and whether it's something big or just small, like I guess for me, first of all, like trusting in God and knowing that He's in control and He um, He wants to bring the good out of bad situations. Yeah. Um, so I guess ultimately it's just learning to know that like God is in control and just giving it up to Him and and surrounding yourself with positive people that are going to encourage you to get through whatever you're going through and and um yeah that's good and where are you going because obviously the lovely warm waters of the uk where are you going after this then <laughs> um well after the uk i'm going to ireland for a few days and um and then after that i'm looking forward to going to the maldives i'm going on a safe trip there and um i'm really excited because i just kind of need a break and uh, warm weather. Warm weather always like excites me and hopefully get some good waves. And is it's that a with new some, some friends of yours or the sponsors? Or um, both my brothers are coming oh. with, so just kind of family trip. Awesome. Oh, nice, awesome. Now, while I forget, on behalf of Christian Surfers, who I know you've linked with them before, we've actually got our tenth anniversary, which will be twenty years, uh, conference in Hawaii in November oh, really? two thousand and twelve. So it we'll give you the dates. Well. It's a long time off. But yeah, I can't plan that far ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but anyway, we'd, uh, we'd love to see you there if you're able to. Yeah, to do that. cool. It'd be quite exciting. That sounds rad. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Anything else from you, Matt? No, I think, I think that's about it. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much no, for having me. Thank you so much for <laughs> yeah, taking the time yeah. out of your busy schedule <laughs> to spend it with me and him. Just for those that uh, I paddle out with Bethany at Koshis, and I tell you what, she paddles twice as fast as me. No. I know I'm pretty old, but she's yeah. inspirational. So it's <laughs> pretty brilliant. And even the guys we met today, uh, they were just inspired and excited about uh, the film. So it's Thank fantastic. you. Look forward to the film tonight, eh? Thank it's, you. It's going to be good. Thank you.